So in this video I'm going to show you how to animate two in Blender. So what I'm going to show you is a mistake that many people make, how to import Teo into Blender, how to export him back into Roblox Studio with the animations, all of that, keep watching. You can see this animation that I made in Blender here, and then how I've imported it into Roblox Studio. Um, yeah. What you want to do first is find the Teo model in Roblox Studio, so if you open the toolbox which is right here, and then you type in Teo, you open this rig. What you need to do for this actually is anchor the humanoid root part. There's actually a decal in his face which you have to delete. So if you go to main head, eye front, decal, that's done. And then in properties, you have to set the under transform, you have to set the position to 0, 0, 0. Right, and now we have him here. What we need to do next is download this plugin here, Blender Rig Exporter slash Importer Animations. Once you've done that, you can open Roblox Studio back up, come up here to plugins, and then you should have this animation here. So because you've anchored the humanoid root part, set the position to 0, 0, 0, and also delete, deleted the decal in the eye, you should be able to press this plugin here and then select TO with no problems. If there is a problem, it'll tell you what it is and how to fix it. So what we need to all we simply need to do is press export rig here and then we just save it as whatever we want so i'll save it as to rig there we go we can now press clear meta parts so i'm assuming we all know how to use blender and all have blender if you don't have blender all you need to do is come to the microsoft store and then come up here and type in blender this should come up and then you'll just press install or add or whatever it says for me it just says open because i already have it so once you're in Blender, obviously delete the cube as always. But there's another plugin that you have to download, so you have to press so save as. And then you can save it as whatever name you want, but this part is very important. So instead of saving it, it's so normally it will say save as type txt file. You need you need to change that to all files. And then the, where it says .txt at the end, delete that and press P Y. And that's basically saying it's a Blender plugin. Uh, so yeah, so when you type in PY, you can download it and then open Blender, back up, press File, no, don't, press uh, Edit, Preferences, Install, and then once you locate the plugin or wherever it is, um, you, you open it. So then come in the search bar and type in RBX, the animation editor, the plugin should come up. I'm not sure why I've got to. So you need to make sure that the checkbox is checked. For that you should have the option to come to file, import and RBX animations should be there. So if you click on that and then locate wherever the rig is, for me it's here. All of the parts of Theo are separated but that doesn't matter. Uh, a lot of people think it does, it really doesn't. So as long as you've got the rig meta part selected, you now press N on your keyboard and then RBX animations. You can now press rebuild rig, OK, and now you have this rig. So if you come to pose mode here, but, so it's just like Roblox Studio, but what I'd recommend you do is select the hand and then shift select the other hand, shift select the feet as well, and then press up here, press create IK constraints. So this will create four new rigs, uh, not rigs, bones, which you can then move around. And if you move the torso around, lower torso, um, you'll notice that those rig, those bones do not move and if you only move the upper torso it only affects the hands if you affect the lower torso obviously it affects everything that's the same with normal Roblox Studio a mistake a lot of people make when doing this is they get the TO rig into Roblox Studio and then they'll press export selection and then they'll go to a site like mixer mode to try and rebuild the rig but that doesn't work so i have this super simple animation here of to just waving to someone uh no one knows who but so what you need to do is find where your animation ends so for me it's at 40 frames so where it says end down here you need to change that to 40 frames um to 40 and that and if your frame starts at number one like mine does just set start to number one but if it starts at 10 you should change this to 10 or something it doesn't for me so what a, another mistake i see people do all, all the time is they come to file export and they try and they spend hours trying to figure out which one to choose really it's none of them what we need to do is come here on the rbx animations again obviously if you remember come to n RBX animations, you need to press export animation. Normally it will take like 
a few a few seconds, a good 20 seconds, but for me it doesn't because it's literally just T.O. doing a simple wave. You need to then come back into Roblox Studio, open the Blender Animations plugin again, so obviously select T.O. And then you need to press Import Animation, not Upload Animation to Roblox, that comes later. Import Animation. You need to paste the animation in here. Like I say, normally it'll take a few minutes, but this doesn't because this is just a simple wave done by Tio. And now we press upload. This is where we press upload animation. This is where we press upload animation to Roblox. So now we can come down. For me, it's just exported the frames down here. So all you should do is press save to Roblox. For me, it's not working. So for me, right now, it's not working. I'm not sure why. And now what we should be able to do is bring in a new rig of TO, these keyframes that we have here, drag them into the TO model, group them, rename that model to Anim Saves. Anim Saves. If you have the Moon Animator plugin like I do, um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can press Moon Animator to select TO. You can see the wave appear here, and you can now use this for whatever you want. So it'll probably loop at first, if you don't want it to loop, just select that. But there, that's how to animate you in Blender. Subscribe if you found this useful.